Hello and welcome everyone back to the Powder Toy, and today we're going to be building a plasma engine. The plasma engine. Uh, it'll be fine. There we go. Okay, so we got this loop of noble gas, which is going around at a pretty good speed. I'd like to make it a little bit faster, but this is good for now. Hi guys. Alright, so, let's see what happens if we spark this. Alright. That wasn't very exciting. Let's try that again. Spark, there we go. Goes around. Ah, oh, it stopped though. At the fan. Interesting. Alright, so we got this beauty right here. And then we will go ahead and we will put our true weapon into here. I know, it does need something to transfer the heat to, you're right. No worries. I've got just the thing. If we pour a liquid nitrogen... Directly onto the radiator. Slowly but surely, we'll lower the temperature. This side is at 1600 degrees, and this side is at 1400 degrees and staying steady. This clearly shows, this side is now at 1800 degrees, that this radiator is actually effective. Alright, we've done it. Now we just have to build a few more radiators. <laughs> to protect this titanium. Oh, the insulation just caught on fire. Alright, uh, we'll just bring the ceramic out a bit further, I guess? To, like, here? I mean, there's not an absolute ton we can do about it melting. It's- it's hot. Oh, there we go. There we go. That cooled it down a bit. Alright. So, we've got a place to take the power out of it. We've got a functional and non-melting plasma engine. Would you look at that? And actually, we could use this to make energy in a few different ways. What if we don't just want to take the electricity out? We can even use it to heat water. And then run whatever the heck we want to run with that. Because if I do this, I bet you this will heat up to over 100, yeah, real quickly. And then we can uh, build a nice cooling tower. There we go. Cooling tower, and we can grab- ugh, I wish I could shrink this. We'll try to make a miniature version in a bit, because that'll actually make it a little bit more realistic. This- yes, this did go much better than my plutonium generator. <laughs> See, I'm learning. Alright, look at that! We have a beautiful, beautiful, functional way of producing pretty much infinite steam and energy using a bit of noble gas and a little bit of an over-engineered design. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna build the main housing for the reactor, which is really just gonna be a box. I feel like this may be too big, but at the same time, if I did it any smaller, it would probably be impossible, so we'll just live with what I'm capable of. Okay, so... Because of the laws of physics, we're going to have to keep it within that size. Oh boy. 
That is not a lot to work with. That is not a lot of space to work with, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that is very nerve-wracking. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's even see if we can get a consistent flow through that small of a gap. I don't even think we need four fans, I think two will do fine. We just have them pumping very hard. Okay, let's let's put some noble gas in and see if it can get a good flow going. Uh oh, you know what? That's actually not awful. Maybe two more fans will help though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that did help. Okay. Okay, so we have our loop now. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I am actually impressed with the fact that how fast that's moving. Okay. So... Let's go ahead... Well, the reason we need it to be rotating is so that it doesn't backflow, because if the spark backflows and hits itself, it'll destroy itself, and then there will be no engine. It's gotta be going in one direction, so when we force the noble to go in one direction, the spark will only go in the opposite direction. Alright. There we go. We've got the bridge gaps. <sighs> Now we're going to add more noble gas to try to make up for this. Alright, I think it's moving, I just can't see it. So let's test. Let's see what happens if we give her a little spark. Come on, keep going in one direction only. Keep going. Ah. So this is the issue. It's so full that it can go both ways. So what if I very purposefully... Cut this here, spark this. Yes! Yes! Oh, it died! No! Yes! Oh! Guys, I think it may just be too small. Come on. No, no! What if I just cut this out? <gasps> oh, I've got a good idea. I've got a good idea. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. This is a good idea. Alright, now that it's nice... And a little bit thicker, we're gonna go ahead and do another layer of gold. Who would have thought it would be this challenging to build a plasma engine? Gee, I thought it would be super easy. Alright, there we go. Doesn't help that I think some of it melted. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right, spark, yes, yes, oh my god, wait, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's working. All right. Grab us some water. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 
All right. And now we throw down our generator. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is actually functioning. No! Oh no. It stopped. Well, that was also bad. There we go. Okay. So. Wait, why did that backflow? Oh no. That was really, really bad. That shouldn't have happened. Did I just do something very, very bad? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, why did you backflow? Is that better? Ah, that is better. Cool. Alright. Thank you, sir. All right. It looks like it's raining again due to the startup sequence. Okay, I'm happy. I, I am happy with what we've got here. Um, I think we're gonna end it. I mean, I have actually. Oh, come really? Didn't make it nearly as long that time. I think there's, like, gaps in the noble gas, which I have to fix from when I was doing my construction. There. See if that's better. The detector is detecting the ceramic inside of it. Oh. Shoot, you're probably right. I don't know how much I actually care. Okay, so that is the end of that. Detector. So there's nothing there, but there is something there. Okay, is that better? I think that's better. We can do a quick test. Yep, I do believe that works now, because it did shut off for a second. There's just steam stuff- yeah, okay. Oh no, we're losing power! Who put a giant piece of metal over the top of the steam catch? Evil. Evil. All right, I'm, I I am happy with my creation here. I I think for one sitting, this is pretty good. So if you guys want to see more wacky creations in the powder toy, make sure to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, why would I continue doing this stuff? Um, and I will put a sped up, cool version video tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching. I just said that twice, probably like four times now. Well, slap that subscribe button notification bell and I'll see you all next time where we'll, we'll, we'll build an even cooler thing next time and I'll start like uploading my saves or something so you can play with them. Uh, but before we end, we'll name this phase three because it actually works now. Before we end, let's go ahead and do a simulation of what would happen if someone were to, I don't know, uh, fill it with plutonium. I mean, how much damage could we expect to undertake? Alright.
plutonium has gone off. Um, the duplication, the, the clone is now creating plutonium, which is kind of funny. It looks like we have leaked. The heat over here is actually making its way up though, so we're still generating power, even if the ground is kind of melting. The amount of plutonium being spawned is actually a little bit scary. Um, it is stacking up, and it looks like it might go critical again. It's okay. We don't have to guess, because I'll ensure it goes critical again. <laughs> Alright. We got a high quality here. A high quality. I mean, it's still generating power. Okay. I think, I think that'll do it. My computer is like, screw you, Spike. Why do you do this to me? Eh, it could be worse. Could be playing Doom. Wee. Alright. Peace out. See you all next time.